Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody had uh, a pretty good trading day. Uh, and that's the whole point. The word is pretty good. Uh, it, you know, Tell me if you've heard this before. The market did absolutely nothing today, right? It, it, this has been going on now uh, for quite a long time here. Um, you know, since we're talking about since uh, March the 5th, it's March the 24th, we've been literally going sideways uh, the whole month. And the, the most interesting part about this whole, um, kind of this whole market, and this is again, again why we don't trade the market, we trade uh, individual setups in the market. But what, what's amazing about this tape is just when the market gets above, right, starts building above the top of the range here, they failed. And they've failed now several times getting above this range. But the most ironic part about it is since they fail, you know, two, three days later, they get back down to the bottom of the range and then they defend. So this has kind of been going on, uh, you know, going on now since uh, the start of March. Um, you know, uh, the, the hope is that earnings season will get it out of the range, either to the upside uh, or to the downside. Tomorrow, you got uh, Super Tuesday. You got a whole slew of uh, S&P 500 company, NASDAQ names reporting. Uh, you got Microsoft, Google, you got Visa, GE, Chipotle, uh, Spotify, Triple M, uh, UPS ahead of the, you know, ahead of the bell. So you have a lot of, you know, you have a lot of data tomorrow. You know, are these companies going to, um, you know, going to underwhelm on their earnings? Probably, right? We all know, uh, you know, we all know, um, you know, what the economy has done, but we also know uh, the economy is not our mirror, mirror image of the stock market. Sometimes it's six to 12 to 18 months, uh, a trailing indicator. Uh, the one thing we do know that we talked about on the weekend update is that, you know, so far technology uh, has super underwhelmed. We had Netflix, you had Tesla. Tomorrow, again, the big ones are Microsoft, Google, uh, Chipotle, and uh, Spotify in the technology space. And then Wednesday and Thursday, uh, you have Amazon and, and, and Meta uh, and all that good stuff here. Uh, more important kind of what happened, if you guys remember, um, Elon's brother was making sales uh, prior to Tesla's earnings today, you know, Microsoft got a pretty, you know, pretty ugly downgrade uh, this morning. You know, you know, you know, about three dollars off its lows, but still got the downgrade. Uh, if you saw the options market today and all the, you know, all the mega cap names, uh, we saw 150 weeklies, 155 weeklies for Tesla puts. We saw 140s in June. Uh, we saw uh, Microsoft uh, short-term expirations coming in. For the 270, 275 puts, uh, we saw some 90, 95s coming in ahead of Google's earnings. So it doesn't feel like there's a lot of uh, excitement in this quarter. Again, uh, Netflix and Tesla really didn't disrupt that notion, but so far they're betting to the downside. Can one of these stocks uh, surprise and have a great, great quarter? Absolutely. You know, if, they, if Microsoft, Google, Apple, Amazon, and Meta can't deliver on one of that, then, well, what are we talking about here, right? But, you know, we, we are... Uh, still seeing some frowned upon bets, short-term expiration uh, ahead of earnings on all these names. But at the flip side is kind of what we talked about. The index is not moving. So every single time we think the market's going to go one way, uh, the market doesn't. And every single time we think the market is finally going to start expanding, uh, everybody uh, unfortunately uh, gets uh, disappointed. And that's kind of where we are uh, today. Another interesting take what I saw uh, today uh, from the market, well, was Tesla, right? So we've been talking about for the last couple of days for potential, uh, you know, earnings low play on Tesla. We got that today, right? Uh, Tesla started breaking down below this 160, 50s level. The odd part about this trade, stock came in a couple of points. That's not the, the you know, that's not the odd part. The odd part was the aggressive put buying that we, we just mentioned a couple of minutes ago that we saw on the tape here for the next couple of weeks. The more odd part about it was how orderly they were moving the stock down. There was a buyer there pretty much every 50 cents down, right? 30,000 shares, 40,000 shares. Now, again, the speculation is maybe it's Elon Musk buying back stock. 
maybe it's Kathy Wood. Does really anybody really care what Kathy Wood is doing? I mean, honestly, if she's in she's in underwater in so many positions. Does it really make a difference if Kathy Wood's buying the stock? I don't really believe it is. Where a thirty million dollar price targets maybe it goes there, maybe it doesn't. But there was definitely a notable buyer today. And the most uh, weird part of it is usually when a stock takes down uh, the earnings low, it's usually a pretty much like a waterfall effect. You probably get like three, four, five, six dollars out of the trade. The way they were especially betting today with with six six figure bets uh, to the downside. Uh, but the buyer held up. It would be it's going to be very interesting to see over the next couple of days that. If the you know if they can't price improve on this big buyer uh, coming in and holding up the stock here, and they start retesting those levels, then I think uh, Tesla will see uh, its ne next leg down. But it's going to be very interesting to see going into uh, tomorrow's session of kind of what happens, right? What happens uh, the day after that buyer was accumulating uh, a lot of shares? Uh, names uh, that we talked about uh, on the video, you know, they did crack, right? You, you're definitely still getting uh, opportunities here in the tape. Uh, you had uh, AMD that we discussed on the nightly video. Finally lost the 50-day moving average. This is the first close uh, below the 50-day moving average. We talked about uh, AI over the weekend, how AI finally closed uh, the lowest close in the whole formation, got a double downgrade today, traded all the way down to the 17s where we talked about measure potential. But then we, still, we saw a lot of stocks still defend, right? Like NVIDIA defended, you know, defended, uh, the 20 day moving average um you know names for example like amazon that had a really good run they got a little bit weaker but not weaker enough to crack the previous day's range so we're, we're in a very very uh like i said even even a couple of weeks ago we're in a very very unique market i think that's the best way of saying it i i think if you're l looking for some sort of closure uh in in these indexes you're probably not and, and again it's very very uh, unproductive to kind of sit there and try to kind of you know smash your head against the wall trying to figure it out you don't need to i i, I think uh before we know it and again granted uh you know to be all honest this is taking a little bit longer uh than i anticipate of a consolidation channel and i i'm, I'm trying to get i'm trying to read the tea leaves and we're, you know all we're doing is getting a lot of mixed signals in the process but hey again this is the market and this is the market that we have not the market uh that we want uh, it's going to be interesting to see tomorrow how the market reacts uh, to Microsoft, to Google. Are they going to set a tone for the next day? Probably, right? Probably. Um, I would love either for both of them to, to beat numbers or both of them to miss numbers. Because the last thing we want is to go another day and say, well, guess what? Microsoft beat, Google didn't, and the market didn't move. Right? We don't want that. We want some sort of closure. We want... A definitive way that, the, that especially the technology names are going to to travel the next road and we want a definitive uh, definitive view on, especially on the closing price uh, obviously today we did not get that but again we did get some pretty good moves uh roblox uh roblox came in again we talked about roblox uh for the last few days uh, below the you know before the below the range uh, if you guys remember gap down on, on its lack of metrics today this is the lowest close in the whole formation keep an eye on this thing if this thing starts taking down uh, tomorrow's channel, uh, tomorrow's channel uh, confirmed today's, uh, it's going to go lower. Uh, GameStop, we started talking about over the weekend. Uh, again, first close uh, below the 50-day moving average. Again, the 50-day is kind of a big deal. Uh, all you need to do is see what happened here. First close over the 50, and then what happened was two more days worth of downward acquisition. And just like every other stock, um, some names, you know, I, I definitely want to pay attention to tomorrow. Number one, I, I want to see how the banks are going to react tomorrow. Uh, FRC came out with earnings uh, after the bell. It's not the point of their earnings. Uh, that's a big deal. It looks like uh, it looks like they actually they beat right. They actually beat earnings. Uh, the troubling part about this is their deposits were down uh, forty percent since this whole. You know, as you can imagine, uh, who's going to start putting in you know money? Uh, a, a, on a potential a bank that's going out of business, but uh, you know, again, the market is is selling the you know selling you know selling the earnings uh, because deposits were about forty percent uh, lower than the previous year, which honestly, again, doesn't really make sense because everybody should have uh, kind of anticipated that. But it's going to be interesting to see how the regional banks or all just all the banking sector uh, is going to react. So let me give you guys uh, some names uh, that I'm definitely definitely watching for tomorrow, and again, hopefully. Uh, we could get a little bit more clarity after uh, after the the Microsoft uh, Google numbers. Uh, Coinbase, 
right? Coinbase is sitting on the bottom of the range here, guys. Take a look at this thing. On the bottom of the range, our uh, short-term expiration came in uh, for the 50s. So definitely, definitely watch on coin. If it starts losing this bottom channel here, uh, this thing can get hit. Uh, TGTX, uh, $20 name, not really familiar with. It looks like a biotech name. Uh, you know, it's it's flagging nicely. They had this really, really big run-up above the 50-day, uh, consolidated for the last two and a half weeks. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts taking out uh, the top of the range here. Uh, this thing can wake up. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. Uh, ISRG uh, in the prosthetic robotic industry, uh, you know, had good earnings, and now it's just kind of going sideways. Keep an eye on this thing for the next couple of days. If they start building uh, above this flag, it can rally. And Tesla, you know what? I am going to watch both ways. The fact that that buyer came in today, uh, the fact that the buyer did come in today, I want to see if they could push it above the previous day's range. I'm not looking for a two, three day move. I'm looking for a trade, right? I'm looking for a trade. You see this thing? Let me show you. You see this 60 minute channel here, this whole 60 minute channel, the last couple of days, it's pretty, it's getting pretty tight here. If Tesla can get above, right above that channel, I think we might be able to get a kind of a bounce back day in it. But at the end of the day, remember, we're, we're still looking for a next leg down. And if they do start taking down the bottom of the channel, again, maybe this is a one day thing that whoever the buyer was finally got cleaned up today. But, you know, in case he doesn't, I want to watch both sides. But in case he did get it cleaned up today, I want to watch the bottom of the range here today because if they do start cleaning down with all those heavy uh, put buyers come in, we could see uh, finally a wash into the 50s. So I kind of want to be uh, a little bit flexible on both sides of the market. So that's it, guys. No news is good news as far as, uh, as, far as technology goes. Uh, the market definitely feels like it's waiting for something. I don't know what that something is, but again, we're waiting with it. Guys, God bless. Stay healthy. Stay in business. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.